What is up everybody, Taco Bandit here for another Taco Tuesday. So I hope you finished 2016 off on the right foot and you're getting started here in 2017. Uh, this is the 40th edition of the Tacoma Weekly Update. Uh, so I just wanted to talk about you know how far we've come with the channel and kind of where we're headed. So as I said, this is the 40th Weekly Update. Um, we're right around 1,800 subscribers right now, which is absolutely fantastic. You know, I didn't really set any numbers or anything like that as far as goals when I started the channel. I just really care about these trucks, and uh, I really enjoy going off-roading and everything like that. And I wanted to share that with some of you all. So, what a lot of you all may not realize is uh, Chad and I weren't actually uh, friends or anything like that. We didn't even know about each other before the channel started. So, a couple months into me making the videos, Chad emailed me and uh, said he was familiar with some of the areas that I was driving through and asked if we could meet up and talk about trucks. Um, honestly, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I agreed to it and uh, the rest is kind of history. You know, we made that TRD comparison video uh, where we were walking around my TRD off-road and his TRD Sport, kind of pointing out some of the differences there. But, um, you know, I, he's really helped me out a lot with the channel. Uh, there's a lot of guys going on kind of behind the scenes that y'all don't probably recognize or notice a whole lot but I do really appreciate all of their help as well you know I, I don't do this on my own and I definitely appreciate all of your all's continued support all of your questions that you've been asking me and everything like that uh, not only does that give me more ideas for future videos and and that sort of thing but it also really helps me you know realize that I'm doing the right thing when I am making videos that y'all enjoy and y'all kind of bring me back in line when I'm making videos that you may or may not enjoy uh, so I, I do really appreciate all of the support. Uh, if you could continue to spread the word and continue to give me thumbs ups and subscribes and, and everything like that, when you do appreciate the content and always let me know what you think about the video in the comments. Uh, I do really try to read all of the comments and get back to you, get back to you all as quickly as possible. So um, you know, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I did get a comment the other day that said that one of y'all was actually unsubscribed from the channel and you thought that I kind of stopped making videos. Uh, that's not the case. Um, obviously the, the weekly updates do come out normally on every Tuesday and then I've been trying to do a second video more towards the end of the week, you know, maybe on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, somewhere in there uh, if I have time. Uh, that brings me up to another point. I'm actually going to be out of town for a few days starting this Thursday. So if um, if you're wondering why I'm not going to be on the channel, that is the reason. I am going to have Chad taking over for me, so uh, I won't be in some of the next, you know, one or two videos, but I will be back. So, um, you know, stay tuned for Chad, and um, I'll be back, like I said, within the next week or so. So as far as where we're headed in 2017, quite a few of y'all have voiced your opinions on uh, the audio quality in some of my videos. So I am using a GoPro Hero Session 4, and uh, I do really approve of the camera. As I said in, I think the last Taco Tuesday, uh, Chad did get a new Hero 5 Black for Christmas, and we will be using that in a lot of the upcoming videos, but you know, when it's just me in the truck, I am using that Hero Session. Uh, it is a really great camera, as I said. It is one of the smaller GoPros, so it is really convenient to carry and everything like that. And when it's mounted to the GoPro uh, mount there on your windshield of your Tacoma, it's really out of the way. It's not very noticeable and everything like that. However, um, with these newer GoPros and with this session in particular, it does have the microphone built into the camera. And for this particular camera, I don't believe there's any way to add an external microphone. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not the best with electronics. I know trucks a whole lot better than cameras and that sort of thing. but. I realize that a lot of you all probably know a whole lot more than me about this topic, and I do need your help. Um, I realize when I'm in the garage or you know, when we were in Chad's house for that last Taco Tuesday, the audio quality was not the best. We seemed really far away from the camera, and uh, you know, we were probably 10 or 12 feet away from the camera. Um, correct me if I'm wrong again, but it seems to me like when I'm just in the truck talking to you all or um, you know, fairly close to the camera, the audio quality isn't bad. But you know, when we are farther away, whether in the garage, in Chad's house, in my house, whatever, uh, the audio, audio quality is a little bit worse. Uh, this kind of poses a problem though, because if there's no way to add an external microphone to this camera, where do I go from there? Uh, do I record the audio files completely separately from the video files? Is there actually a way to add a microphone to this camera? 
Um, I really don't know. Uh, I do really need your help if you have any idea. Like I said, I'm, I'm not the best with this kind of stuff, but I, I do want to improve. You know, I'm not just ignoring these comments and pushing it off. I, I do want to make a difference and, and make a change. I just don't exactly know what I'm doing right now. So as far as the truck here in 2017, I do have just under 13,700 miles. Uh, we have been racking them up here pretty good lately, you know, commuting back and forth between uh, home and school and, you know, getting to see everybody here uh, throughout the Christmas season and everything like that. But I do have some more plans coming up here for the truck in 2017. So if you recall, I did get my truck about the last week of March, the first week of April of 2016. And since the beginning, I always said, you know, I wanted to keep the truck mechanically stock for a year. And the reason for that is you'll get to see, you know, where I live in Virginia, you, we do experience all four seasons. And, um, you know, I, I do want to test out the truck here in snow, uh, water, mud, you know, pine needles, whatever you can think of. I want to test out the truck just as it is stock and be able to document all of that, you know, how I get along with my adventures and, and that sort of thing. Uh, if you recall last year, you know, having my truck in, you know, around the last week of March, first week of April, I didn't get a whole lot of snow and I didn't get to document a whole lot of snow. Uh, unfortunately, it's been just slightly too warm. We have been getting a lot of rain, but no snow yet. So I am hoping for snow and I do want to see how this truck does uh, with the TRD off-road trim versus Chad's TRD Sport trim uh, with those different tires and, and the trucks being stock and everything like that in the different weather conditions. Um, after I have my truck for a year, you know, I am open to doing more mechanical upgrades, whether that be, you know, different suspension, uh, different wheels and tires, all of that sort of thing. But like I said, I do want to keep it stock for a year, document as much as I can in that year, and then we'll go from there. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we do have a whole lot more content coming your way here in 2017, and I look forward to bringing you all of that. So if you do have any suggestions about camera or audio equipment that is reasonably priced, please do leave that in the comments below. As I said, uh, I do rely on your all's help a little bit for this, uh, for all your suggestions and questions and comments and everything like that. As far as questions go, we will have a frequently asked questions video here within the next couple weeks going over uh, a lot of questions that we do get and uh, kind of about our fuel economy and everything like that. So again, thank you all for all your continued support. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody. We'll catch you next time.